Welcome to our uh, latest video on YouTube. Um, we get many requests um, from all over the world, uh, especially on parts on these transmitters that uh, are hard to find, namely the um, trimmer capacitators. Uh, in this build, we're going to use um, just the capacitor and coil. Um, we're going to do without the trimmer. And the actual circuit board is going to be 20 nails and a bit of wood. Um, an original breadboard type. So basically, no matter where you are, you're going to build this one. Next, we're just going to mark out where we need to put the nails. So, give me some idea where to um, knock them in. Just give this a tap. Looking good. As you can see, we've got our first transistor in. Uh, you just got to make sure you pull, pull the leads quite tight, so it goes around the um, nails pretty tight. You don't want them loose. As with that saying, it won't work. That's the first transistor in. Next we're just going to knock the remainder of the nails in. Just going to finish off the circuit. That's cool. looking good. Looking good. Well, that's our circuit board completed. It's very strange looking, isn't it? Where all the pins in place and the two transistors are. So next we'll uh, pop in some capacitators and resistors, um, put the mic in, the coil, and we're all done. Hopefully we'll have a working transmitter. When you install the parts, uh, make sure you um, pull them tight. With some of these parts, you'll get them around the nail three or four times. Just um, pull them tight with a pair of long nails.
We're about halfway now for this build. Um, looking good. Got most of the um, the art parts done. And next we're going to wire all the connections up. Um, the way I'm going to wire them up is with um, some one millimetre solder. I mean you can do it with wires but um, now I've got the solder end here um, and he seems to do a good job. Well, this um, transmitter is all complete now. Uh, I made two slight modifications. One is I moved the microphone to the right slightly by the right hand pin, just to tighten the connections up. And uh, the other is I replaced the uh, five turn coil I installed with a three turn six millimeter coil. As you can see, let's run zoom in here. There we go. That's a three turn coil. Um, we've plugged the battery power in now. Now let's turn our frequency counter on now and see if we've got um, any life in it. Bang on. It's broadcasting on 103.4 megahertz. Great, it works. And what we'll do now, um, just turn my MP4 player on. Pop upstairs now. Make sure we can um, air some of There we go. That sounds okay, did not it? Bang on. It's all working.
There you go. How about that? Um, cheap transmitter. Built for next to nothing basically. Um, and you don't need any special parts. You don't need to make your own printed circuit board. Um, you don't need to go out and buy a breadboard. 20 nails, a bit of wood. A few components. An AI. A working transmitter. The last thing is um, changing the actual frequency. Uh, quite easy to do. As you know, we haven't used a trimmer on this. So the way we'd um, change the frequency is compressing and expanding this coil. Now we're on 103.3. And if I push this coil in, I'll put it but I'll just compress that coil now. Now we're on 99.5. So you push it in to lower the frequency and just pull it apart to lower the frequency. Now we're back on 103. You've probably got with this coil, it'll go from about 95 to about 10, about 105, 106. That's enough really. Well, that's it. Well done. Hope you enjoyed it.